It's that time of year again. It is the time where I travel through the land of the Mushroom Kingdom looking for my turkey, turkey, poultry feast, and friends to have. I've been doing this for the last couple years. It's kind of a tradition. Random, random tradition that doesn't really mean a whole lot. However, on a little bit of research, a little bit of research a couple weeks ago, uh, with a little bit of help of the creator, I found out there's actually a slightly newer version than what I had of this game, which is what I'm playing right now. The only other caveat, I made a minor, minor tweak to it. Mario woke up uh, one day to find that he is somehow washed up on a beach. Where's everyone? Uh, what is uh, this strange land? I made one one minor little tweak. I have 20 lives. I just went, uh, I changed the uh, hex edit, hex edit, hex address for the starting lives from 5 to 20. Give myself a little bit a little bit of a boost because if you don't know how I do this I play until I die that is that is how how this goes I play until I die so that being said the adventure awaits this game started out well this video started out uh, kind of, kind of just a random, a random thing. One year, I was super, super exhausted. And I was like, hey, it's like Thanksgiving tomorrow. And I uh, feel like putting out content because that's something I regularly do. And I was like, you know what? I currently don't have anything to put out. I wanted to put out something. <laughs> I was also super, super exhausted. And I had a, a video of the adventures of Plumber Who and his trustful, trustful steed, Pegasi. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know about other people out there. I don't know how they feel about, like, their own little crazy inventions. But this one, the the idea of Plumber Who, or rather, like, you know, Doctor Who, which is what the name is based on, uh, it was kind of like an idea... I guess, I guess the concept of Doctor Who, Doc, Doctor Who, Plumber Who, uh, the concept of it was like a mixture of Doctor Who where it's like Mario's going on an adventure and he's, he's doing things, he's adventuring, he is having the time of his life, but each game is like him jumping to a, a different reality. So it's always the same Mario. He's just jumping to different realities. It's kind of like that. It's kind of kind of that type of situation. Um, the other type of thing I kind of related to because it's showing my age. Because I am I'm not a spry young lad no more. Depending on how you want to consider that. Anyone that doesn't know, there's a old, old show called Quantum Leap, which is like a guy is trying to like find his way back to his own kind of universe dimension type of thing. His own life, really. And he keeps jumping into like uh, people from different time periods. And so... You know, he jumps into uh, people from different time periods and he has to, like, live their life and complete 
a specific event to uh, move on to like the next life and he has to keep jumping until he gets back to his own um, and I, I kind of have like this idea that plumber who is kind of a mixture of Doctor Who slash Quantum Leap Man. Uh, <laughs> that jump. I don't remember that jumping so difficult. I remember this being barking awkward. So that was a thing. But, I mean, that's just that's just some, like, headcanon background to this whole uh, plumber, plumber who Thanksgiving game that I play. It's like, some, just a little bit of background to it. I mean, maybe you can go up. Oh, no, he did change that. That is different. Uh, that is shenanigans right there. Flat out shenanigans. Yeah. I've been I've been you know this is this is legit the day before Thanksgiving when I play this. Playing awful. Also those bees the, the layout of the level is different than what it was. For one. So this is actually like a bit more challenging than I remember it being in the past. So this one, you only have the one B, and when you have two Bs. But yeah, like this is honestly the day before, the day before Thanksgiving. I've been meaning or wanting to play this for uh, a little while now. I never really, really, really got the chance. Also, there's a random bee. I, <laughs> I want to say there's probably a one-up, like you jump around the bee and get a one-up. I also don't really want to test that. There's a secret exit though. Oh, that's the that's the problem when things change cuz the secret exit. Mm, oh, by the way, you can still spin jump on them. Uh so the secret exit used to be just directly behind the normal exit like where that B was, there was just like a second goal sphere or fudge. It was something something along those lines but it was just I mean just a second second exit uh, those bees those zingers that uh, track you are the worst they're just awful people also <laughs> it's like that I did not mean to do Echoey, echoey goodness going on. But yeah, this is just gonna be this is just gonna be me legit playing. It's gonna be me just having a good time or bad time, however you consider it. I'm talking and interrupting myself and making myself forget what I was talking about. Um because I was saying, yeah, this is this is the day before Thanksgiving. I've been meaning to play this a lot sooner than I have. I haven't gotten around to it, which I kind of feel bad about. But I also had a bunch of stuff going on that kind of stopped me from doing it the way I wanted or when I wanted to. So, am I supposed to just spin jump on this dude I mm, 
<laughs> I don't. This is this is kind of frustrating. Because I know where the secret exit was. Um, I don't know where it is now. Yeah, this is... I can lie. Something I have... <laughs> not had to do in the past is uh, pause and figure it out because it really was just hey that, that was that was the wrong button does this okay I I have to know does this guy just I think he just kills you huh Oh, I think I need to be right back and look around the level. I found something. <clears throat> I found something because uh, I was like, you know what? What if the P-Switch, what if the P-Switch has more than one use now? Instead of making just, <clears throat> just the bridge. It does. It does. Oh. Okay, that just the end. Not gonna lie, kinda confusing. Just a little confusing. That yeah, that was changed. That was not how the original exit went. The original secret exit so there are there are some differences to this game to this one there are a little bit of uh, differences which you can plainly plainly see oh. bark I saw the fireball I saw it <laughs> I jumped in it anyway Okay, can I hit Mr. Flying Dude? Please, thank you. I didn't really feel like trying to jump on this platform with him still on it. <clears throat> That's actually not easy to do. Not easy to do. Can't get half those coins. Goodbye, Chuck Man. Goodbye. Hello, Mr. Mega Mole. So let's not run into Yoshi. I, I have sworn. Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't remember you. I could have sworn you got Yoshi already in this game by now. Really don't remember. I really, truly don't remember if you could get Yoshi <clears throat> this early. Also, I'd like to say I don't actually know how long this game is because, to be honest, I don't know if I've ever actually beaten it. Like, maybe I did once like I played it for like Thanksgiving and it was like a, a one episode on Thanksgiving and then I just continued playing afterwards but so, when, whenever I played it in like following years I never beat it I just played until I died some years going a lot further than others some years not going very far at all so I don't actually remember if I've ever beaten this game. Door's tall enough for Yoshi. Ow. <laughs> it's it's windy. Windy with bullets. I mean, I do like the fact I have a lot of room above my head. I don't like the fact that I'm a 
fairly awful, awful player. Fairly awful. Because that... <laughs> he should have won. Because I am... I am just... So awful at playing this game. I make little climbing noises. I don't know how much I actually like that. Do you make climbing noises in the original? Maybe you do, and I just block it out from existence because it's not a pleasant sound. Like, I don't know. Maybe, I think you do. I think you do actually make noises when you're climbing. I just block it out because it's not a great sound. This one, um, like the sound was cutting in and out, so I'm like noticing it more. No, no, you definitely, you definitely do just make noise when you're climbing. At least, at least the, uh, level... Frick, I see the bullet, and I panic, and I know it's so, so far above my head. I know it is. I know it's super, super far above my head, yet I panic anyway. I'm like, oh no, there's a bullet coming at me. And I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. But I do. Also, that potaboo... You can just go away. Have a shell. You'll never... S well, I, I mean, technically he would catch it because I, like, kicked it and then, like, ran through the door right away. So he would, would actually get the shell. How did I get hurt that one time? I get hurt on a fire bar. If I did, that was dumb. I don't even remember, like, what happened, like, 30 seconds ago. That's how bad my memory is. Okay. So what's, what's going on? Fudge. So you can see Wendy and her clones, um, popping up slightly for, like, a second before they actually come up. Um... When I see that, I, like, freak out because I really don't want to be standing where the uh, dummies are. Because if you do, you can get hurt. And so I, like, I have a slight panic reaction of, oh, no, I should not be standing here. Where it's really perfectly fine. Like, I'm not going to really get hurt. Yet, that is my reaction. Have a shell. There you go. All yours again, buddy. That. I don't know how I would have gotten hurt on a fire bar in here. Like, if I did, that was just bad of me because they're so easy to, <laughs> to avoid. Okay. This castle. Grant is not very long. It's taking me a lot more tries than it really should. It really is taking me more tries than it should. Okay. Just one more. I just need to hit Wendy one more time. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> and then not get hit by a bolt bill. While I'm like jumping around the stage. Because that's something I probably shouldn't do. Okay. So, Yoshi Coin Hunt. I get Hunt Yoshi Coins. I remember this level. Find all five coins. Beat the level. But if you're looking for the secret exit, then don't collect all of them. Um, I believe. I believe uh, what that is referring to is if you collect all five, it ends the level instantly. So if you want the secret exit, you need to only collect four of them. Uh, because if you do collect all five, the level will end and uh, you won't get 
have to be able to get the secret exit. There's one of them. But yeah, I remember this level. Not gonna lie, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember enough. I don't remember enough to budge. I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> I was trying to turn around a little bit sooner. Um. Oh. I think I missed that duder the first time. Also, I'm noticing I have no HUD. Did I have a HUD in other levels? Did I accidentally turn that off at some point? Like, that's a possibility. That's a possibility I turned off level or layer three and not realized it. And I have been playing without it, which honestly, it's not that bad playing without it three I think that is number four but I want to do this and do that first no layer layer three is on because if it was off I wouldn't have those borders okay There's one. I mean, that that really looks like a spot where you should budge. Put one up there in the sky area. I have no idea what's going on in my house. If I remember right, like, there was something, I like had a cape, I, I slightly remember one year, like I had a cape and I had to like fly through the level to like figure out where I was missing a dragon coin. And maybe it was the first one. Maybe it was the first one that I was missing. Fully remember to grab a different shell. There we go. Uh, land here. Was it here? There it is. I remembered. I remembered that. I think it might have been that one that I missed. Yeah, I think it was that one that I missed where, like, it took me so long to find it. But there we go. And that goes over there. But we'll go over here. High up cave. High up. High up the cave. Where I'm outside. In uh, Spider Woods. It's really not spider woods uh, what is the first forest level that used this song in DK3 um, I don't remember but it wasn't like it was a forest level uh, it wasn't like the saw blade one or the one with the springy spiders I don't think oh boy that was an accident I really don't want to repeat. But yeah. I had... Did I just not have a layer 3 HUD? Like, is that something I just don't have and I've never realized, like, in this version? I could have sworn I did. Maybe I just don't. I just never realized it. Uh, I'm just going to be right back really quick. Okay. So I was just checking. I was just checking 
to see if maybe I pushed a button that disabled uh, layer three. That does not seem to be the case because those fudge, those buttons are disabled. Oh yeah, <laughs> you remember this one? Oh, I what I don't remember is what the P switch is for. I think I remember going through the entire level without ever pushing the P switch. So I kind of, I can't remember the P-Switch not being super important. Uh, so I mean we could push it now. Huh. Maybe it is important. Things have changed lately. Uh, let's, let's take it with us. No harm in doing that. No harm in doing that. Except having really, really glitchy barrels. Uh, so, if you know me, and you know me with the DK bar barrels, I don't like them in Super Mario World. Maybe over years they've gotten better, but uh, in my honest opinion, pretty pretty bad because they are they're not as fluid they don't feel as fluid as the Donkey Kong barrels like the Donkey Kong barrels are kind of a dynamic sprite I don't I don't really know how the Donkey Kong barrels really work but I kind of remember them having more than eight directions that they uh, follow through. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I will accept it. Again, I don't really know what the P-Switch is for. But it does give you a second one, which makes me believe I need it for something. At least I can get that, which makes me big. Sure. I like... Mm, it's so hard. It's so hard to determine where you need to go. Like, there's no... It, it would be fine if... It would be fine if the like having the barrels stacked on top of each other like that that would be fine the problem comes from the fact that I don't really know which barrel I'm supposed to be going for like at all and now I dropped my p-switch because I landed on the ground Like, I, I don't remember this level being like this. Okay, I'm going to call shenanigans on that one only for the fact I'm in a barrel I physically cannot see. And again, I'm in a barrel I physically cannot see. Okay. So, like, uh, I, uh, like, I, I really, I don't, I don't like calling shenanigans on games too often. I really don't. But the problem is, I physically cannot tell where where I'm supposed to go there we go like that I'm pretty sure maybe I was supposed to be able to land in that barrel maybe I'm supposed to go straight up into this barrel and 
something. <laughs> Freaking. Cause that's that's the problem is I can't I can't see where where I'm going. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I do this? I doubt it. I doubt it. Okay. Let's go that way. I can do it. I know I can. Ah, come on. Frame. Perfect. I don't have a slow down button, I don't think. Come on. I will maybe, maybe get this. Come on. Well, I mean, I got it a couple times, but yeah, I, I don't. Uh, frustration. This level changed. If, if I can, like, save my hit somehow. Okay, let's go back. So that's not gonna work. Like I I don't mind taking a hit. But if I can like save it for the end of this area. I can I really, really wish there we go. Like now I can see. Ah. Okay, so now I can see. So, if I go in that one, I can shoot diagonal here. And that... Okay, if I... Because I think the problem is, like, I'm supposed to be able to get in that lower one without any issue, but it's not set up in a way I can. There we go. Okay. Fudge. Really? Like, I just hit my head there. Oh, man. This is freaking awful. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, normally... Normally, I would not be like, okay, let's just... Let's brute force our way through the level. I would, like, really just take it... That level... Like, I think... Following years, I may have to just skip that level. Or I might modify it myself so it's a little bit more fair. Like, I think that's the big thing, is if there was some indication which way you go is safe versus not safe, I think that that's a big thing is having a bit of indication on what is safe and what is not safe. Come on. Now I'm just playing really, really bad. Oh boy. Okay. 
that. That guy. His thing. These duders do their thing. Go in this pipe. Like the Switch Palaces. These are good. They're like little mini challenge bonus levels. Like that's, that's perfect. Okay. Perfect. So now we can go down to Wispy Waters. Except for that one level, which honestly, I think what I will do is maybe slightly modify it. Um, so it's like more fair. I think that's what I'll do. I, I, I doubt. I doubt the uh, original creator as much desire to uh, fix this one up in any manner, which is fine. Like, I have nothing, nothing against that. Because going back and revisiting, like, really, really old hacks and pieces of work that you do is not an easy thing. Because at, you had, like, an idea at that point, and then maybe how you implement ideas, how you do things change over time, and then you see your old stuff and you're like, wow, I can't believe it was so bad. It's, uh, it's a real thing. But there we go. One more level down. Another one to go. I think this is the furthest I've ever really gotten in just a single playthrough, but I did, I did, Give myself extra lives. Go on, you must activate the yellow switch. Uh, I was not expecting those to be solid. I didn't fully read the message box. Um, yeah, I, I was not expecting those to be solid, to be fair. Like, that just seems so out of place, them to not just not be solid. Like, it's so counterintuitive. It's a, a solid block. Like, personally, what I would have done as an indicator to be like, hey, do you have the yellow switch or not? Just put it, like, in the, the ceiling. Like, either a couple, couple yellow blocks, like one, maybe, like, alternating. Um... So you have like yellow block and then castle block and then yellow block. I, that's what I I would have done um, to make it not so off-putting. There's a lot of eeries. There's like a lot of eeries. Oh, some of them have disappeared. Um, I was going to say, I didn't go when I should have gone. Am I going to get past World 2? That is a big question. One I don't have the answer for at this exact moment. I may get past World 2. I may die here in the fiery lava pit that is castle number two. Is this going to be the end of the adventure? It might be. I mean, Eeries are not spawning in the same direction as they were before. Also, I found out something I did not know about the Boo Rings is uh, they keep their orientation... Um, when you die, 
So the eerie or the uh, boo ring uh, position of the circle stays after you die. I didn't actually know that. I found that kind of interesting and kind of odd at the same time that that's something Super Mario World actually kept track of. Like, it just seems off. Oh. It's just Mr. Reznor. Hello, Mr. Reznor. I'm not taking a chance. I don't know how I didn't get hurt by that fireball. By didn't. That's fine. That is okay with me. So, it's world two. <laughs> I have like one life. I have like one, one life. See how well I uh, do on this level. Probably not very good. Probably, probably bad. But I will do my best. Also, little ground tiles. That's not ground tiles. Those are like gray blocks or something. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure how I perfectly kicked my shell up uh, that ledge. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, look, extra life. Also, I'm guessing the missing HUD is a feature because I'm not actually getting extra power-ups. I'm getting the one I have and none more. Which is kind of unfortunate because I would really like more. Also, I would really like to know... Um, Coins give you an extra life because that would be very nice. Also, I don't. Oh, you know what? I think those were tiles. What one F zero? I think is one zero F. It's the uh, the ones that like uh, spread slide on. So it like stair step down. Yoster, my faithful friend. Oh yeah, I forgot. But if you have the thingies. Watch out for falling spinies. Try frying them with fireballs or just spin jumping to avoid damage. Yum. I have missed yumming all of the enemies. Yoshi very much wants to yum. Arg. Perfect. Yoshi, you... Yoshi! Bad. Bad, Yoshi. Fairly awful sometimes. Yeah, I I remember getting Yoshi a lot earlier in the game, like in the first world. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just remembering it completely wrong. But I I remember that. Okay. Let's go. Let's continue. Get that, get that, get the happy cloud. It will give me a life if I collect all his coins before they... Nope, nope, I have blown it. No point in following him around. Like, at all. Because he's going to be like, oh, you didn't collect my coins. I'm going to fly away now. You know what? I don't. I don't want. I don't want fire flower. I only want. I only want a cape. Maybe another happy cloud. Happy cloud. I don't know if each individual happy cloud um, will give you a one up. Or if, like, you 
miss doing one fudge. You miss doing one correctly? Oh no, it will. It's all individual ones. Uh, however, I did lose my Yoshi, which is how I would be getting Happy Cloud. I wonder if this is like a star or something. Nope, it is a fire flower. <laughs> nothing, nothing I want. Maybe there's another Yoshi. Nope, a pea balloon. Not exactly what I want for a nice end of level section. Pea balloon and para guys. Build balloon. I got. I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting a few lives. I'm getting a few lives. That's good. Blop, blop, blop. I don't think there's any wigglers close enough together to uh, <laughs> glitch lives off of them. So I think I'm going to have to um, not do that. But, uh, I have four lives now. Maybe I'll lose them all before <laughs> finishing World 3. I mean, that's very, very huge possibility. I'm not exactly... I mean, I pointed this out. A lot of people are like, hey, you play game good. I'm like, nah, not, not really. I play game mediocre. I'm only good in comparison to, like, other people. Uh, I'm definitely not, like, pick uh, people that do, like, task runs or, like, Kaizo, like, primarily. Like, non, non-assisted non Kaizo runs. Like, they, they play Kaizo light, Kaizo normal, maybe not Kaizo hard, but, like, not tool assisted. And they just, they just go. There go Ooh, I remember. I remember this dude. I remember him being not super easy to actually fight. I'm actually this boss. If I fought him normally, like I normally would, um, he would he would take quite a lot of uh, effort. Because you see how you have to spin jump on him. Fudge. There goes my uh, cape. There goes. There goes me. Um. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Blarg boss, not the easiest because you have to spin jump on him. And when it's over a giant pit of lava like that, definitely not the easiest. Okay, King Boo's Fort. Uh, Boo Cloud. I don't like the Boo Cloud. Just because it's not easy to avoid them sometimes. Uh, but so my feelings on the Boo Cloud are of mixed. They're 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 mixed. Fudge. So the boo cloud, as as far as I understand, uh, it goes up the entire screen. But if you noticed, I went a little ways, and then I was able to like drop down this pit without actually coming in contact with any of the boos. Like, I came in contact with them, but I actually didn't get hurt. And the reason for that is the boo cloud appears in the entire level you're in, but doesn't actually hurt you um, unless it's on the same screen it's spawned in on. So you can easily like get one screen ahead of the boo cloud and then they don't hurt you anymore. 
I had a feeling that was going to hurt. <laughs> going to hurt. Going to happen. I got pretty much to World 3. Pretty much to World 3. Well, I'm on World 3. Almost World 4, that's what I meant. Almost to World 4. But... I mean, that's that's the thing about this, this run, is I just go until I die, and when I die, I'm done. I did have some cheese moments. Um, the blog boss, I really should have died there. Level wasn't hard, blog boss, that's just, that's a chore in itself. And then the uh, bramble barrel one, that one's just not fair. Uh, that's not how the original level was. I don't know why it got changed to this, but that's not what the original level was. So I may go in and tweak it a little bit to make it more fair. May give you a little bit more like indication on like where to go. But uh, I mean that'll be that'll be a thing for next year. Because for right now, I mean we're we're done. We're done. 